crafty friends welcome to my channel again and thank you for spending some time with me I'm going to show you some um, things that I totally have loved making this month so this is my video for the makers creative collaboration so this collaboration is run by Mariah and Patricia from PM Artist Studio uh, at the end of my video there's a link to the next person in the hop so when you finish watching mine click on the link and you go to the next person's video and then there's one at the end of that video as well so you hop 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 all the way through all the artworks that have been made for nearing needlework I have had a big clean up in my room and I've found all sorts of things I can't believe what I've found but anyway my sewing machine was something I knew was there of course but we hadn't uh, been very well acquainted lately anyway I uh, got it out, set it up, got some rags from my Chindi rag rug and I made a cover for my Defemeremba uh, journal. So Defemeremba is coming up at the beginning of December and I wanted a shaggy, raggy, uh, autumn, autumnish theme running through mine. So this is what I came up with. So this is just the cover. So the theme for that month is uh, nature and animals, I believe. Zoom out. Wee a bit more, a bit more. Okay, so I'll just put you up close so you can see what it is. Now, this fabric here, this green stuff, um, that's a piece of upholstery fabric. I'm lucky to have some friends who give me fabrics from time to time because they have a business where they make uh, linens and curtains and chair covers for um, nursing homes and hospitals. So they quite often give me pieces of fabric. So that was my base layer. And then what I did with the these things is I just tore strips of the fabric from the chindi rag rug and basically I just stitched them on haphazardly all over this piece of fabric. So it's nice and tactile, shaggy, looks beautiful, feels great. Um, yeah, basically what I did was so pretty much what I did was I just got a piece of piece of the rag with I had thinner strips like they were about half that thing that thickness and I just did that sewed over with the sewing machine and I did that all the way across that fabric there so that's what it turned out like I love it I can't stop touching it I can't stop looking at it and feeling it I did go through and cut some of the loops because um, I thought they might get caught in a few places. And on the inside is a piece of eco dyed fabric um, that was done with gum leaves and rusty nails and things and it's just a piece of um, cotton sheeting once again from my friends luckily didn't have to pay for any of it and inside what's making the crunch is an Amazon bag so I sewed that piece onto the Amazon bag and then laid it on top of this piece with the, all the rags on it and stitched it together and just put in those ties. Okay, So that was the first thing I made and I was so happy with it. I wanted to make more things. So the next thing I did was I found an old uh, watercolour background, something similar to that and I made it into this so I drew a face onto it and then I did basically the same thing I did with the the cover of the book but I did it around the girl's face so that's her hair so yeah that's just bits of the same fabric but more of the gold in there um, when I turned it over I saw this I don't know if you can see that uh, it gave me another idea so the next thing I did was, well, I'll tell you how I thought of it. I saw this and I thought I'd like to, with my sewing machine, stitch roughly on a piece of fabric a face or something. And I was trying to work out how to do it. I didn't want to draw it onto the fabric. So I thought, well, if I get a little image out of a magazine and stick it onto the fabric to start with and then just sew over the features and then pull the paper off and then I should have something. Well, I tried that today. It turned out okay. It's not fantastic. You can see it's a face. It was just, oops, it's just out of, uh, you know, the free magazine from 
the supermarket. They, ha they have a health and beauty issue every couple of months. So there's still bits of paper stuck in there. But yeah, so I did that. So that can be used on something else. And here's my final little offering. I'm going to zoom out a bit more. Yeah. So it's this little wall hanging. Um, can we get it all in shot? In the frame, I'll just turn it around this way. I'll put up some, uh, some stills of it. Okay, so what I've done is this, this here, the back part. Look at the back. <laughs> I don't think the tension's right on my sewing machine. Um, that's a piece of a pair of jeans from my husband's uh, work jeans. And I basically just created a collage with um, different fabrics. Some of them have been stained. There's all sorts of things. There's sequins on the bits there. And just sewed that all on onto that piece of denim. Uh, I then attached this piece of fabric, which is off the chindi rag rug. I'll just show you what the back looks like. So it's very simply just folded in half and so stitched across the back. And that was a bit that was hanging off the bottom and I just tore that off and then tied it in a knot and stitched that on as well. I then attached some dangles that I made. I'm not sure where I got that from. I think it might have been like that when I bought it from the, the op shop. Uh, anyway, so I put them across the bottom. I stitched on this metal butterfly. Um, this is a piece of broken jewellery. It's a necklace. And I just used um, some embroidery thread to sew up the side and then just caught that in a couple of places so it doesn't swing around too much. Um, the holder, this handle here, is jute. So three pieces of jute string that I just plaited together and tied on at either end. And it was a bit droopy so I decided to do this here, which is done with um, embroidery thread. So I just stitched over that. When I got to this side I had a bit left over so I thought rather than cut it off and it uh, would be an unusable piece, I just decided to stitch down that side there and then tied it in a knot. Um, what have we got in here? Chindi rag rug of course. That's off a little girl's dress, the thing with the sequins. This is um, a paint sheet, a bit of a drop sheet. Not, not so much a drop sheet but one that I had on my desk. I've uh, just got bits of lace, that's part of a snippet roll. That's another piece out of the chindi rag rug. That's just some lace. Um, I bought a pack of samples from a curtain shop some time ago and that's just a piece of that and I've just put some inks and dyes on it. Um, yeah, so that is my, my little hanger. I love it. And I love that it's so imperfect. I hate um, things that are, you know, lined up completely square and the, the crookeder, is that a word? The more crooked and wonky it is, the more I like the things. Oh, I forgot to show you this. This was the end of the string where I plaited it. I came here and I had some bits left over. So I just tied a few wooden beads onto, onto that side. Okay, so that is my, well, did four things. So my stitched lady, my little hanger. My lady with the cloth hair and my raggy, taggy, saggy, daggy journal cover. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, ask a question and if you're not subscribed to my channel I invite you to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss anything. I put up new videos every couple of days and um, I try anything basically. I just love creating and uh, making making beautiful stuff and I especially love recycling, repurposing, reusing. Um, click on the link in the, in the end of my video and you'll be taken to the next video. So once again, thanks for watching. Cheers from Australia. Hooroo!